A break or crack in a bone is called a fracture. A broken bone that does not puncture the skin is called a closed fracture. But sometimes a bone can puncture the skin. This is called an open fracture. Even if you can't see any blood, the break will have caused some internal bleeding and the injured person may develop shock. Bones that are still growing, like children's bones, are supple and can split, crack or bend quite easily. A bit like a twig, but the injury is still very painful. If you think someone has a fracture, you may see swelling and bruising. They may have difficulty moving and have movement in an unnatural direction. The limb may look shorter, twisted or bent. There may be a grating noise or feeling if the limb is moved. Have loss of strength or see signs of shock. If you think you've broken a bone, support the injured part to stop it from moving. This should help ease the pain and prevent any further damage. Place padding around the injury for extra support. If it's an open fracture, cover the wound with a sterile dressing and secure it with a bandage. Apply pressure around the wound and not over the protruding bone to control any bleeding. Call 999 or 112 for emergency help. While you're waiting for help to arrive, don't move the casualty unless they're in immediate danger. Support the injured area. For example, fractures on the arm can be secured against the body with a sling. Fracture to the leg can be secured to the uninjured leg with a triangular bandage. Keep checking the person for signs of shock, but do not raise an injured leg. If necessary, raise the uninjured leg. If they become unresponsive at any point, prepare to treat an unresponsive casualty. So remember, pad and support the injured area. Use a sling or triangular bandage to keep it secure. Cover any wounds. Call 999 or 112. And that's how you treat someone with a fracture. If this video has been helpful to you, help support St John Ambulance by going to sja.org.uk forward slash donate. <laughs>